You don't have time for your stories. You know, I don't have time for your business. You <laughs> stop it. TD Ameritrade Park has a reputation of not giving up many home runs. Yeah, some of college baseball's best are anxious to give it a try. The college home run derby begins in about 10 hours from now. And Bill Barron is here putting up with the both of us this morning. He's here to provide us a little preview. Good Welcome. Thank, Thank you for having, having us. We appreciate it. Nice little story about Chicago, where he's from. We, we don't have time and for And we had to much. do the show. <laughs> Welcome, nonetheless. Yeah, thanks Thank for coming. Thank you for having us. Uh, so appreciate it. Who are the contestants this year? We have, uh, we have eight of the top power hitters in college baseball, mm -hmm. um, and actually three of those uh, individuals Actually, we're just here uh, recently for the College World oh, Series with our team. We've so. got a list of these players, and the first name stands out to me. If I'm not mistaken, that's our defending home run derby champ. That right? is correct. Yes, Michael is back. Uh, he's only the second player that's come back to uh, to defend the title. Great. So we're hoping uh, hoping he performs How a little bit better. How many home runs did he hit last year? Michael hit 20 last year. 20. 20. Yes. Okay. So what about some of these other then, guys? How yeah, do you Michael Barrero, or uh, not Michael, but um, Trace Trey, Barrero. Trace yep. Barrero. He's coming back. He's from Texas, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is there. Uh, Eric Gutierrez uh, led the Big 12 in home runs. So he's obviously a great power hitter. Um, we've got Sykes Orvis from Ole Miss, who was yeah. just here with, the, uh, with mm -hmm. his team for the College uh -huh. World Series, great power hitter. Zach Ratcliffe from Ohio State. Um, Hunter Haley from Oklahoma. Bobby yeah. Dahlbeck from Arizona. Did, so a lot of good we, guys. How do we pick these guys? How do these sure. We, uh, we're basically for about the last month and a half or so, we're tracking on these guys. Um, and we try, to get, uh, we try to look for some freshmen and sophomores, usually because of the Major League Baseball draft. Um, that's right. usually one of the, the challenges that we have for selecting guys because yeah. a lot of these guys end up getting, getting picked. Um, and then the other challenge is there's also a, a collegiate team USA that's playing right now. So we're kind of at the mercy of guys that get selected there, but we still think that we're able to get a great, uh, great crop of contestants mm -hmm. and, and make for an exciting contest. Do you look for the big hitters? Is that what you're looking for? We definitely do. You know, we know, but we don't always necessarily look for you know, just a straight home run total. Um, we'll look at guys that have great potential. We're in contact with, uh, with some college baseball experts that will let us know people that perform really well in these kind of contests. Let me ask this, and hopefully you can explain why in the world it is we can watch an entire College World Series and see three home runs and then these guys are knocking them out left and right. <laughs> What's different about this event compared to the series? Sure. I think, um, you know, obviously it all kind of depends a little bit on, how, on what way the wind's blowing, um, mm -hmm. but uh, it seems to always be blowing in during games. Um, but one of the things that's different is we do let these guys use, uh, we do let these guys use the old bats, so that helps a little uh -huh. bit. Um, but, you know, like I said, I think we get some, get some guys that can actually uh, make some contact. And batting practice is always a little bit different. You're getting pitches that are grooved right to you. So yeah. that, yeah. that kind of helps a little bit, You're too. You're not uh -huh. getting sliders and curveballs <laughs> right. and change right. exactly. They're just throwing right <laughs> yeah. down the middle. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Why is this a good event for baseball fans? I think it's a lot of fun. There's a, a great opportunity to interact with these players. I think it's a great thing for the city of Omaha. Um, you know, obviously, college baseball means so much to the city with yeah. the College World Series. Um, and we've partnered with TD Ameritrade and the Omaha World Herald and, you know, just try to give something back to the community. It's funny how selfish you feel even getting a third game out of the championship <laughs> right? series this year. You still didn't want that event to end. No, it So was it's great. nice to sort of follow it up quickly with the college home run derby. Yeah, and no it's question. a really big event. It includes fireworks. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a really family-friendly yeah, event. Tell us about that. Show. Yes, no, I mean, it's uh, obviously the, the Omaha World Herald has been putting on their fireworks display for quite some time now. Um, and, you know, that's just, it's all part of TD Ameritrade's effort to try to give back to the Omaha community. Um, and I think it's just a, it's a great way to lead into the fireworks, see some, uh, see some fireworks that hopefully our, uh, our players are providing with a lot of home runs, yeah. and then follow it up with a, with a great, uh, great display in the yeah. air. Yeah, and it's too f fun to look at the video that we see on your website, which the countdown is there, so you see 10 hours, 17 <laughs> minutes before tonight. For the fans to be able to catch some of these balls, you know, out in the outfield, <laughs> Right. And you see the, the little guys and gals with their gloves having a blast. And that's what baseball is to America, is sort of that opportunity. Absolutely. It's a, it's a great, like I said, it's a great yeah. opportunity for the kids to, to get, uh, get close to the action. The players are great with interacting. And, uh, you know, you can't, uh, you can't beat the opportunity to catch a, potentially take home a souvenir yeah. if you're sitting in those no outfields. Yeah, seats. and tonight, the night before the 4th of July, a little slice yeah. of Americana right exactly. down there at no TD Ameritrade. Exactly. How much does it cost to get in? Are there tickets still available? There are a limited number of tickets still available, but uh, tickets are $8 for children, $12 for adults, and then we also have a family four-pack for $36. Mm -hmm. um, but you can, uh, you can visit uh, collegehomerunderby.com and get that information, or you can stop by the CenturyLink box office and pick those up there, or visit uh, Ticketmaster.com or call Ticketmaster as well. And if you're at home watching, 
It's on ESPN. Yes, live. we are live on ESPN yeah, for great. the first time. I was so our say, MVP, that's our MVP might be the meteorologist. <laughs> so <laughs> with the forecast we have tonight, we are uh, looks, we're very we'll excited. Yeah, how did you work out that deal? Because uh, you know the last yeah. few years it's been tape delayed, hasn't yeah. it? Yes, it has been. So we're we're thrilled to that uh, that ESPN was able to get us into a prime time slot really? and have the event go live. So that certainly yeah. uh, adds a lot more to really? it. And, adds and a way lot to go to Omaha, events. more yes. eyeballs. We like that. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you for being here. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Have a great Fourth of July. We get the commercial break. Fantastic.